Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this white cuff super duo or twin beads bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself and uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations and if you like what i'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Hey okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are these beautiful super duo beads or also called twin beads. Depending on the manufacturer, they have two holes here. And uh, I have uh, these Eto beads in this creamy color. This is a toggle clasp. You could use any type of clasp you like. And here I also use jump rings. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle pliers and these are scissors. Okay, and now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle because I will show you how to add more thread later and I will start. Okay guys, and I'm doing this as one needle technique. You could do it with two needles, but I prefer to do it with one needle, okay? First I take four of these beautiful super dues or two whole beads. And I'm sliding those down, I'm sticking my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by first making a loop and going twice through the loop I made, okay, like this and I pull. Okay, and now what I want to do is one more knot. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Then in my next step I go through the following two hole bead or super dual bead here through this bead, okay, through its inner hole and I take just one of these beautiful atos and I go through the following. Okay, here I don't add anything and I go through the inner hole of the next twin bead and I take one and I go here through this one. Okay. And now guys, I go through the inner hole of my next super duo bead. Okay, like this and then I go through the empty hole of the same bead you see here and here and now I need one eto and I go here through this one okay then what I would like to do is again go through the inner hole of the same bead And one more time. And then I go through the following. And again here. And through the outside edge. Okay, now this is what I have. And I take one these beautiful beads okay and now as i'm exiting out of this bead what i want to do is take one of these two whole beads okay slide it down 
Then as I'm exiting from this hole, I'm going through the other hole of the same bead. Okay. This is what I do through one hole and then through the other one in this direction. Then I take three of these beautiful super duos and I slide those down. Okay, like this. And then I go back through these beads in circle. Okay. Now guys, I have this and I want to go through the same super duo and back through this white bead here, creamy bead, I mean, Eto. And then I go here through this one. In this way, I'm connecting my two elements together. Then I go through the central two through the inner hole of these beads. I add one creamy bead. Okay, like this. Then through the next inner hole, skipping, not adding anything here. And then here through this one. Okay. And you might need to use your pliers sometimes when you go through the difficult bits. Okay, and now in order to add this last bit, you should reposition your thread. Okay, go through here and then through this, the empty hole of this super duo and take one bit. Okay. Now I have this and still I need to reposition my thread and go here. Okay, here guys will be where I'm gonna be attaching my clasp. That is why I'm going to take six of these beautiful beads. Okay, just like this, six of them. And I go like this here. And at the end I will attach my clasp. If you want you could go reinforce this part here several times, zigzagging through the beads. Now what I want to do is reach the other part here, this part where I will continue my work. Okay guys, and here what I want to do is take four of these beautiful super duo beads, okay, I have four on my needle and I'm going back in circle through this white bead, okay, just like this. Then guess what, I'm going here through the inner holes of those beads here that I just added. the inner holes here. Okay, and I take one creamy bead and I go here through these two beads like this, through their inner holes and I pull. Okay, then <clears throat> what I could do here is go here through the next inner hole of my next twin bead, skipping the white one. I'm not going through the white one. Okay, because I want to make these beads stay next to each other. Then I go through this super duo and back through its empty hole. Okay, then I take one A2. Now I should reposition my thread to add here my last bit of this element. And I will reposition it by going through all of my beads like this. Okay. And then through its empty hole. 
Okay, like this. And I need to add this bit here. Okay. And in my next step, guys, I want to reach this bit here. And in order to do this, I'm doing some repositioning again, going through these inner holes, then through this one here. Then through the empty hole of this bit and through this white bit here. Okay. And for the second element, Remember what I do. I take one bugle bead, one uh, super dual bead, sorry. I slide it down. Then I go, as I'm exiting from this hole, I go through the other empty hole of the same bead, okay, like this. I make this repositioning first when I make the second element of my row. And from here on, guys, what I need to do is to take three of these beautiful two hole beads and I go back here through this one that I added first and I pull, okay, pull. Now I have this and what I need to do next is go through the inner hole of, the, of this bead here through its inner hole, then I add one eight hole and again go through the inner hole of my next one, okay, like this. Then what I do is go also through the inner hole of your next bead and through this bead that is from my previous element. My elements touch and they share beads, that is why I'm doing it, okay. Then what I need to do next is go through these beads here, like that. My thread is long, that is why I need to be careful now in the beginning. Okay, not to make any knots. Okay, like this, and now you see how those two beads are not connected here with a thread. And I need to connect them. I'm going through this one and also through the following. And pull. And in my next step, what I need to do is reposition my thread and add the last bead that I need to add at the edge, okay, go through these beads one more time, then here, then through this bead, you see I'm exiting the inner hole and I want a reposition going through the outer hole, like this. Then I'm going to take just one eight-hole and go through this next empty hole, just like this. Then guys, <clears throat> you know what I want to do. I want to reposition my thread to go out of this white bead. And if it's difficult for you, this is the time when you need to use your pliers. Okay. Especially here with these beads. Okay, and now I'm here. Okay, and what I want to do in this step is continue the same process. I will take four two-hole beads and form the same element. Then from here on, 
I will make this one. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and, and see those steps. This one and this one, this one and this one. And I will continue with my bracelet the same way. And when my thread is over, I'll be back to tell you how to add more thread. Okay guys, and now as I continue beading, you see my thread is really short and I can't make another row. That is why I'm going to make a knot, cut it and add a new thread. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then you could repeat this step several more times and when you're ready, go through the following bead after your knot, cut your thread and you could use zippers to make it stay really secure. Okay, and now I'm going to take a new thread and add it to my work and continue. Okay guys, and now I put a new longer thread on my needle. Okay, here it is. And what I want to do next is that I go here through some beads and what I want to do is make a loop, make a knot and continue with my work, okay? So here I choose a place, I hold my tail thread with my thumb, I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made. It is the same as when I cut my thread, okay, but this time I'm attaching it. Then what I do is that I go through my next C bead and you could repeat this knot here one more time if you want. And then I'm going through the following bead. And what I do is that I cut this tail thread here. And from here on guys, I continue the same way that I show you here and here. Take four beads, make another row and continue until the end of your work. Okay guys, and when I continued beading and adding more and more thread, this is what I have. You see, this is the whole length of my bracelet. And I will have 28 rows because my wrist is small. And now I'm going to add one more row, I will show you how. First I'm taking four of these beautiful two hole beads and I'm exiting out of this white bead. And I go back in circle through this white. Then I go through the next two twin beads from their inner holes. Then I take one white ato and I go here through these two twin beads like this. Then what I do is that I skip this white bead here and I go here through these two twin beads from their inner holes, only through the twin beads, okay. And I pull. pull tight like this then as I'm exiting through these holes I go back through the outer empty hole of this twin bead and I take just one ato like this and I go here through the following twin bead okay now this is what I have then I go through the inner holes of the same twins. I skip here this white and go through these two twin beads in this direction. Okay, and pull. Then through the outer empty hole of the same twin bead, I take one ato and I go here through this ato again. Okay, I have my first element of the last row ready and now what I want to do is to reposition my thread and exit out of this white bead. And how I'm doing this, the same way I did before.
OK. Now I reposition my thread. And what I do is that I exit here of this white bead. OK. And here I take just one two hole bead. I slide it down. And I go through the other empty hole of the same bead. OK. I'm exiting through one of my holes. And I go through the other one. OK. Now you see what I have. Here I'm going to take three more super dual beads and I'm going back in circle through the same hole I'm exiting out of and I'm forming something like a circle of beads here. You see what I have? Circle of four beads. Okay, then I go through one, just through the inner hole of one of those beads I'm exiting out of here and I take one ito and I go through the next two super dual beads okay now I have this then I go through this ato I'm exiting out of the inner hole and I'm going through the creamy ato okay this is what I have I'm using this ato from my previous element then I go in this direction through this bead and through the following through their inner holes okay then I will go back here through this white creamy sorry and I will connect those beads together then again I'm going through these beads one by one is easier at this stage at least with the beads I'm working with and then I go here through these two two hole beads and then through the outer hole of this twin and I take one creamy bead and I go here then through these two beads and then I exit here out of this creamy bead like this and then I'm going to take seven more of these atos seven or six it doesn't matter now i'm taking seven and i will go in this creamy bead then i will reinforce by going one more time through all of those beads Okay, and when I go through all of them, here I will make a knot. And I'm making my knot by choosing a place, let's say here. And what I want to do is make a loop with my thread, okay, I'm making here a loop. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. Then I pull. And I go through the following twin bead like this, pull again. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I will cut my thread. Okay, and now my bracelet, guys, is almost ready. But I just need to do an additional step here. I need to attach my clasp, okay? And in order to do this, I'm taking a jump ring here and I open it up 
Sometimes I do this with two pliers when the jump ring is harder and I can't open it like this. But now it's okay and I'm putting here my toggle clasp and what I need is to squeeze in the same direction as I opened it. Okay. Now guys I have this and I will repeat it from the other side and my bracelet will be ready. Okay guys and when I repeated this from this side my white cuff twin beads bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents and for yourself and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations and down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me